All right, this is the last video in a seems like an extremely long tutorial session. <laughs> um, let's work through this quick. quick. Um, actually, I'm going to pause it and I'll be back. All right, uh, I'm back. Let's just read through this. We're going to go grams to liter now. You can see that right here. All right, in grams to liter, we're going to look at our map. We start in grams. We're going to go over one, over another one, and then up. Now, you can also, in the same breath, say liters to grams when we go down, over, over. So it works either way. Let's read our problem. Sulfur and oxygen combine to form sulfur dioxide in a composition. How many grams of sulfur? All right, so first, write and balance the equation. So S plus O2 goes to SO2. That couldn't be more simple. That's 1, 1, and 1. Next, determine what we want in our answer. It's grams of sulfur. Next, find what we are given. We're given 17 liters of O2. All right, so here we are. We're starting in liters. We're ending in grams. So we're going to go down using 22.4 liters per one mole. Then we're going to go over using the ratio of coefficients. And this will be easy because it's one to one. And then we use the gram formula mass of whatever our desired unit is. And we will be ready to go. I'm pretty pumped here. All right, so whatever's here always goes there. Liters, O2. Remember, we have 22.4 liters for every one mole of any gas. For this one, it's O2. All right, remember whatever unit is there goes there. This is the ratio of coefficient step. So I have one mole O2 for every one mole of S. All right, that is looking good. Our next step is our gram formula mass. We know we want grams of sulfur on top because it's right here. We know whatever unit is there goes there. So I have for every one mole of sulfur, oops, I have 32 grams. That 32 grams came from my element box for sulfur, which says 32 and 16. The larger number is the molar mass or the gram formula mass, which is grams per one mole. So that's 32. All right, then I'm just absolutely excited. We're just going to plug these numbers in. We're going to take 17 and multiply it by 32. Then we're going to divide that number by 22.4. And that equals 24. Uh, I never leave room here. 24.3 is what I get grams of sulfur. All right. Hopefully that made sense. These are usually pretty simple. We just need to know that ratio of 1 liter for 22.4, sorry, 1 mole for 22.4 liters and the molar mass. And we've got it. All right. That concludes the tutorials. I know there's one more section, but it's very simple and we'll cover it in class. All right, please do more homework than just the ones I did for you.